a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> Maybe a little excessive. We have apples. We're going to feed apples today. Um, I uh, There's a lady that came by and she brought five... <laughs> oh, you know what this is. 500 apples, I swear. Luke, you coming over, buddy? So I thought I would go over apple feeding etique for our horses. And uh, I say it all the time, but we always feed feed the lips, but not the teeth. So to do that, an easy way to do it is just to put your hand straight out flat, and you can even push against the lips a little, like that. You can, you'd be okay if you, if you do that. But we don't want to feed like this. This is not a way to feed a horse. Uh, there's a pretty good chance you'll get your fingers, because uh, they can't tell, they can't see. So you just push up against their lips, and you can even hold it, and maybe they wouldn't be able to get a full bite. Here's a slightly bigger one, but don't feed like this, like this, like this. Just put it in your hand. If you need to have your thumb, sort of hold it a bit. And then we come in and we just push against the lips like that. Right, Nanners? Okay, let's go to the next horses and we will continue feeding apples. And uh, hopefully I have another video that I did a while ago uh, where I was feeding apples, but I didn't get to it for a while. And I actually get a lot of complaints on that video. Oh, when are you gonna feed the apples? All you do is talk and, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Would you like an apple? All right, here we go. Push. And don't try to curl, like you'll have a, you'll, there'll be a tendency to kind of bring your hand to hold the apple kind of like this. We want to uncurl our hand, use the thumb, and then just up against the mouth flat. And that, I find, is the best way. Get it, buddy. He hasn't got it yet. He's working at it. There we go. He got it. Oh, he dropped a piece. <laughs> Anyhow, so, um, yeah, I so say I got a pile of, like, wow, well, it takes forever, because I talk, I talk a lot, obviously. So here we are, we're going to give apples to every horse and I'll show you this method is quite effective and safe and you won't get your fingers or hand chewed on. Here's Rue, hello, Mr. Beautiful. What are you doing? What are you looking at? He says, when are you giving me an apple? Okay, so again, we can hold it like this initially, but we want to put our hand out. Thumb can be on the side to hold it. Push. Oh, he didn't grab it. So now he has to chase it down a little. Dude, you should just pick the whole thing up. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, so here he comes. All right, we'll try again. And we want, ah, here we'll come. We'll come over this way and make it a little. Can you step back a smidge there? Uh, and then just hold flat. Anyways, he took it. So that's two for him. Um, I had a few, uh, questions about the pond. Some people were a little worried about whether or not the fish were in good shape. They are. Um, and we had actually a pile of rain. A pile of rain. A whole day of rain, finally. First in two months. Hello, Gracie. Yes, you are a big sweetie. Right? So we just hold. Stay flat. You can be on the bottom of the jaw there. And then it'll be no problem. One, two, three, four, five. I've only got five left and there's four horses left, so. And you've already had a few today, so you're okay. But you don't want to feed, you know, she'll, she'll want to, she, she's not a biter, so she's, she's not going to chew on my hand. But yes, very, very, very thankful for the amount of rain that has come through. It's been absolutely fantastic. And I was able to finally clean the place up, all the leaves and stuff. Because before, because we had two months of no rain, very dusty, can't use a leaf blower in super dusty conditions like that. It is just no good. All right, Fluff, I'm pretty sure you've had a, a few today. Let's see if we can find you a little one in here. Hang on a second. 
Okay. All right. So we're going to come under and come low. You can come low as well and then just flatten your hand out. And generally, horses are quite good with that. Be very clear. So yes, very thankful for rain. I'm also thankful to some very wonderful people who have helped out uh, here. Uh, last time I uh, said thank you to Catherine Perry, who um, donated to help out with the hay when we were doing the hay barn. There, hay barn. Well, I guess it's a hay barn now, but uh, the middle little barn. And then uh, a few more people, Martine and Marsha and Penny. And there was one more. Really, who was the last one? Help me out. Would you like an apple? There you go. Say same thing. And you just hold. Sometimes they need a little bit of help. We can just give a little bit of help. It's like having a plate for them so they they uh, they can. Um... <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, they can. They can have have it not fall on the ground. We don't really want it to fall on the ground. Yes, I know. Look at you, really. You're all the way out. I've got only three left, and I'm going to feed the other ones. You've had a few today, so you're okay. Um, yeah, Martine, Marsha, Penny, and Susan. Susan was another person who helped out. Thank you very much, all of you, for assisting. It is a big help, I have to tell you that. We have filled up that uh, barn now, the small barn, mostly. I could probably put a bit more in. And then on Monday, we have another large load coming to fill up. The other barn. Hello, you two. Yes, what have I got? I've got the apple container. This is our apple container now. I just fill it up. It's almost empty. So. <laughs> Be patient. Be patient. Whoa. That's a whole apple gone. Lena's quite good at this too. So, all the way out. We can hold like a plate as well for Lena. Like that. And that would be okay. Okay, uh, I guess we gotta do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We've only got one left. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a ticket by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And I said Tigger for everybody who's listening because Tigger is part of Winnie the Pooh. I picked Roni, right? Oh, here you go, buddy. And I love Tigger. I used to have a Tigger in my car, a little stuffy. And uh, it sat on the dash, essentially, and got sunburnt. <laughs> completely faded. Loved Tigger. He bounced around on his tail. So yeah, and then uh, we had a few uh, hat sales as well from uh, from the store. Thank you to, who was it? Rose and Sherry, if I remember correctly. Uh, that's fantastic. I got some more hats running around. Uh, I think you both were in the States, so that's pretty neat. Anyhow, so yeah, thank you to everybody who has uh, helped out. It's just been absolutely fantastic. It's helping out with uh, getting these horses fed. Hopefully this year won't be too bad, but I did talk to my hay supplier and he's not overly optimistic, which got me a little worried, but he tried to reassure me saying, we won't let you down. So I feel good about that, but of course it's not in his control. He is a delivery guy, not a grower. Rue, what have you done to your mat there? Why is your mat halfway out of your shelter? Can you tell me this? What have you done? What a monkey, eh? He's the only monkey that does this. You're the only monkey that does this. Yeah. Not my monkey, but it is my circus. So, that's it. A little horsey check on how to feed apples to horses. Hopefully that was, that was interesting. Look at these guys, they're all like, you got the apple container, give, give me, give, hello my friend. I don't have any apples at the moment, but I'll give you a quick scratch. Nom 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 nom. I know, but there's no apples in my hands. I don't know why you're trying to chew on my hand. There, I got your, got your chin. I got your chin. I do, I've got it. <laughs> He's fun. Um, you know, then they can't really, they'd have to really, it, it's a big effort to, to chew on, because their teeth are quite flat. Um, the older ones will have a little bit more of an angled teeth. 
uh, more angled teeth to the to their mouth. But um, the younger ones, they just don't. He's gonna scratch. He's gonna fly. Um, I wouldn't say go about teasing your horse like that. I do maybe like that with him. But there is a chance of getting chewed on. Uh, but it's good practice if you are so inclined to put a little practice in. Hello, Nanners. I'm all out of apples. They're all gone. Yes, all gone. She says, so this is a good way to get your finger chewed on, is to kind of put your finger out like that. But I'm quite cautious overall. And <laughs> she says, what, what? I don't have any apples, you see, they're all, it's all, but. Rawr. She says, bring on the apples. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, we're gonna finish that there and uh, not make this too long of a video, I hope. But yes, it finally rained. BC is burning, burning, it's not good. And thank you to Sherry for uh, volunteering to clean up this garden a little bit. A lot of bit. Looks fantastic! And now it's watered too. Everything's watered. Which is good. We'll see more green instead of brown. Or grey for that matter because everything got washed off with the rain. So, okay. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I uh, hope you guys are having a great day.